Picture this, a hacker takes over a phone with just a few keystrokes. It's not just movie magic, these tools are real and surprisingly accessible. This video is for educational purposes only. We're here to understand how these tools work so you can protect yourself. We'll break down 10 of the most talked about remote phone access tools of 2025, exploring their features, intended uses, and the thin line between security and invasion. If you want to get smarter about cybersecurity, you're in the right place. Let's dive in. First up is mSpy, a heavyweight in commercial monitoring software, marketed as a parental control tool. Once installed, usually requiring physical access, mSpy runs hidden, letting the installer see call logs, texts, social media chats, browsing history, and GPS location from a web dashboard. Features like geofencing and key logging make it powerful, but also raise serious privacy concerns. For parents monitoring minors, it's a legitimate tool, but the potential for misuse is huge. Installing mSpy on someone's device without consent is illegal and a massive breach of trust. The company stresses legal use only, but the responsibility is on the user. mSpy's tech is solid, but it's a stark reminder. With great power comes great responsibility. The line between protection and surveillance is razor thin. Always get consent and use tools like this only for their intended legal purposes. Let's move to the next tool. FlexiSpy is the high-performance sports car of monitoring apps. Advanced, powerful, and controversial. It offers live call interception, remote microphone and camera activation, and deep data extraction, including VoIP call recording. For these features, initial device access and often jailbreaking is required, which itself introduces risks. The dashboard is professional, but the legal and ethical implications are amplified. Features like call interception are illegal without consent in many places. Flexa Spy is marketed for legitimate monitoring, but its capabilities make it a near total surveillance tool. It's a clear example of why understanding privacy laws is essential. Use with extreme caution and only with full consent. Next, let's look at a more user-friendly option. Spizy is a streamlined, user-friendly monitoring app designed for parents who want oversight without technical headaches. It tracks GPS, call logs, texts, contacts, and social media, all from a clean dashboard. Many features work without rooting or jailbreaking. Android requires a simple install. iOS can use iCloud credentials. This ease of use lowers the technical barrier but raises ethical questions about accessing someone's cloud data. Spizy's simplicity makes it attractive, but also easy to misuse. The iCloud method in particular shows how a compromised password can lead to a major privacy breach. Always use such tools with explicit consent and for legal monitoring only. The power is in your hands. Use it wisely. Now let's shift to a tool built for defense. Cerberus is a top-tier anti-theft app for Android, designed to help you recover your phone if it's lost or stolen. From a web dashboard, you can locate your device, sound an alarm, display messages, lock it, or wipe all data remotely. It can even snap a photo of a thief and email it to you. Deep system integration makes it hard to uninstall, protecting your data. These features are powerful for security, but if someone gains access to your Cerberus account, they could lock you out or wipe your phone. Secure your account with strong passwords and two-factor authentication. Cerberus is a prime example of hacking tools used ethically for defense. In the wrong hands, even defensive tools can be turned against you. Always protect your credentials. Let's look at a tool for security professionals. Androrat is an open source remote administration tool for Android, used by cybersecurity pros for penetration testing. It simulates real world attacks, letting testers find vulnerabilities before criminals do. Once installed, it gives remote access to contacts, messages, files, camera, and microphone. Its open source nature makes it a double edged sword. Great for learning, but also easily repurposed for malware. Malicious actors can disguise it as a legit app, turning phones into bots. The difference is in the intent ethical hackers use it to shield, criminals use it to attack. Understanding tools like Androrat is key to grasping mobile threats. Always know what's running on your device. Let's move to a tool with a data recovery twist. Here's PhoneSpecter. PhoneSpecter brands itself as both a monitoring and data recovery tool. It can retrieve deleted texts, photos, and more, appealing for those who've lost important data. In reality, it works much like other monitoring apps, pulling call logs, GPS, browsing history, and social media activity. Installation is user-friendly, often not requiring routing or jailbreaking. Data is accessed via a secure online portal. The legal line is clear. 
use only for your own children or company devices, with full consent. Recovering deleted data from someone else's phone without permission is illegal. The dual-use nature is obvious. Intent and consent are everything. Next, let's talk about stealth. Hoverwatch is known for its stealth, running invisibly on the target device. It records calls, texts, websites, even in incognito mode, and takes periodic screenshots. Unique features include snapping a photo with the front camera every time the device is unlocked. It supports Android, Windows, and Mac OS, uploading all data to a secure online account. The sheer volume of data paints a detailed picture of the user's life. Stealth raises major ethical issues, transparency is lost, and consent is critical. For employers, laws often require notification. For personal use, stealth is a breach of trust. Hoverwatch's power demands responsible, legal use. Now let's look at an all-in-one solution. XN Spy is an all-in-one monitoring tool for parents and employers, offering a huge range of features at a competitive price. It logs calls, texts, GPS, and browsing, but also offers watch lists for keywords, contacts, and locations, sending instant alerts. Advanced features include ambient recording and remote device control. It supports both Android and iOS, with different features depending on device security. The dashboard is built for handling lots of data efficiently. Watch lists and ambient recording are useful for safety, but can be abused for invasive surveillance. Legal and ethical boundaries must be respected. Consent is non-negotiable. XNS Pi is powerful, but responsibility falls on the user. Let's examine a more direct approach. The Truth Spy is marketed directly for spying on partners, kids, or employees. It offers call, text, and social media monitoring, GPS tracking, and ambient listening, all in hidden mode. Installation requires physical access, after which it silently uploads data to an online dashboard. Its aggressive marketing for spying on partners is especially problematic and illegal in most places. The Truth Spy highlights the dangers of using such tools without consent. Legal disclaimers aside, its primary use case is a violation of privacy and trust. Consent is everything. Without it, this is a crime. Now let's finish with a family-focused tool. KidLogger is designed for parental control, focusing on understanding and protecting children's digital habits. It logs apps used, websites visited, keystrokes, and takes periodic screenshots. The freemium model makes it accessible, with advanced features in the paid version. It supports Android, iOS, Windows, MacOS, and Linux, giving a holistic view of a child's activity. Data is presented in a chronological log for easy review. Even with good intentions, privacy and open communication are vital. Use KidLogger as a tool for trust and digital responsibility, not secret surveillance. Let's wrap up with some final thoughts. We've explored 10 powerful remote phone access tools, each with legitimate uses and serious risks. The technology is neutral. Intent and consent define its impact. Your best defense is strong digital hygiene. Use unique passwords, enable two-factor authentication, and control physical access to your device. Be cautious with app permissions and stay aware of what's possible. Awareness is your shield. Protect your privacy and those around you. Stay informed, stay prepared, and use technology responsibly. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe to CyberGirl for more cybersecurity tips. Stay safe out there.